my wonderful family. Sprinkle some magic torture. Um, since talking to a lot of peeps on the social media, um, so many people have asked me about meditation. <coughs> and um, lately I haven't been sleeping, so, um, and I choose not to, I do it deliberately, so it's not insomnia, um, it's not a condition. Um, I come to a decision where I'm, I just need lack of sleep. I'm not wasting time no more. Um, I'm 42. I feel like, well, I'm not going to die, I know, but I'm living way up 100, like my granddad did, 100 for in fact. Um, no, it's just um, every moment is special for me. And, um, and the way I cope with not sleeping is um, I meditate a lot. In fact, I've meditated so much so the most I ever done in my entire life, you know, I can go on for a couple of hours, three hours, and I don't even know. <laughs> um, the time's just like gone, um, and I, I experienced such amazing um, journeys in my meditation. So, what is meditation? Okay, um, meditation can be in anything that you put your mind into, I suppose. Um, when you give hundred percent focus. So I can be in a meditative state when I'm doing my art, painting. I can be in a meditative state when I'm dancing, um, whilst cooking. <laughs> Any kind of creative element using my hands and just focusing 100% on that activity is meditation. Now, I'll talk about breathing, which is really, really important in my culture. It's called Brunyama, and it, that is vital. Um, and when you do nothing, no activity this is, and you just focus on your breath, that is something different. So you have mindfulness, meditation. Mindfulness is actually being mindful in everything that you do. So for example, if you're washing dishes, most people washing dishes can't wait to get over and fucking done with, like, or they're washing and they're not actually there. They're in there, they're either thinking about the past or they're thinking about the future. Can't wait to get this done to get the children off to bed and blah blah blah. So I can sit in front of the telly, perhaps I don't know. Um, but they're not present, and being present, being mindful in everything that you do. So when I wash dishes, I'm actually concentrating on washing the dishes. My mind is not here, there, and everywhere. Um, so I, I feel the water, the bubbles in my hands and as I'm washing them I'm thinking wow, you know, the, my kids have just eaten that, that's fine, <laughs> I'm washing their dishes and I'm cleaning it and it's all sparkly now and I can put it, I'm actually focused on what I'm doing, that's amazing, that's just that, it's mindful. <laughs> I always say this and it cracks people up, but it's true, you know, when people are having a shit, be mindful about that, you know, why hurry the fuck up, man, and, you know, oh shit, I'm a bit hurry up because I need to go to, go to work, I'm getting late, like, you know, um, there's a whole process of having a shit, you know, your whole body's cleansing, why are you hurrying that, you know, and um, so, you know, come on, kids, it's everyone, people, please, um, just be mindful in everything that you do, it, it, it will serve you well, um, and you're not going to be stressed out because when you are living in the past or future in your mind and you make it real in your mind using all the senses to make it fucking real it's not really real is it i mean and that's why you constantly in this worry state so be mindful is actually enjoying every single thing you're doing every moment appreciating every single thing and to me I, I'm, I'm grateful for everything, you know, I'm sitting here now and I was amazed how I got this chair I was waiting for a, a right therapeutic chair and I just knew I had to go to this charity shop I only had 30 quid on me um, and I had to get it, I knew this chair was waiting for me um, I had a student who came with me, Shanika Shanika, who's behind the camera <laughs> um, yeah, she came with me, she's like, what the fuck, okay, okay, you know, because I was like, no, I need to go to this particular charity shop, I know I have to go there, there is a chair waiting for me, and so, when we did, there was this chair for 30 quid, 
Oh, I only, only had 30 quid on me, so I was like, wow, wow, the source has definitely told me to go to the right place at the right time to get this, and it's fucking wonderful, I'm sure it's worth over fucking 300 quid. Funny thing, this chair is called relaxation, it's got a label at the back saying relaxation, but yeah, I'm, I'm very grateful, thank you, thank you universe for allowing this amazing piece of furniture and um, I'm sitting on it and I appreciate everyone who contributed to making this as well. Thank you. For the cow, obviously, it's leather, so you know. Uh, thank you for this, whoever done the stitching. Well, you know, this I'm sitting on. There are so many people involved in making this chair. And are we really that grateful of everything we have? Every single person who's contributed about that for a moment and then you wonder and then you really do feel the essence of love <laughs> for everyone everyone's contributed in something in your life so being mindful so back to meditation now why do I meditate I meditate purely because I'm a spiritual person I know that and I know you are all spiritual people but we somehow believe that we are just human beings in this body. This body, that's it. Um, we are the body. We are the vehicle that carries our soul to various places it needs to go um, and do godly work, serve others. And I'm very much, you know, um, all about serving serving and helping people. Um, I wish I had that help when I was young. I had to learn this shit all by myself. I didn't have no one. And I say that to my young people, you know, really, truly, you know, I'm so blessed to have my young people around me that I can help and guide um, if they know everything that I know at a young age. Can you imagine how amazing adults they'll become? <laughs> yeah, I can. Um, and yes, and meditation for me, and then when I teach young people how to meditate, it has changed their lives immediately, in fact. Now I don't ask you to meditate for hours the first time, you're not going to do that, that's impossible, so let's be real. And so, we know that the mind is like a, you know, it's like a computer, you know, you program it. And, and so, Initially, it takes 21 days for you to program either a good habit or a bad habit or take something out of your life or replace something. It takes 21 days to become a habit. And um, so I asked my young people to do five minutes of meditation just before they go to sleep or um, as they've just woken up in the morning. Five minutes of their life, just meditate. Be silent, focus on your breath and, you know, try and see what's happening because when you first meditate, you're going to get all these thoughts come, come, <laughs> come through nowhere. It's, your mind is playing games, basically saying, what are you doing? You don't do this, you don't, you're never silent um, and so it's going to distract you, it's going to say, hello, do you remember this? Hi, I'm here. Remember me, the mind that plays games. And so you just kind of look at it as, you know, a cloud just passing by, this thought just passing by. And so let it, let it come and let it go. Let it come and let it go. Because you're, you're now focused on your breath. Keep going back to your breath every time your mind wanders. Concentrate on that breath. Now I'm going to teach you how to breathe properly in a minute. And so if you're doing this for five minutes consistently, for 21 days, it becomes a habit. You enjoy it so much so during this process of 21 days that you think, oh, well, I want to increase that five minutes to maybe 10 now. And then you do 10. And then go up to the, according to your age, so if you're 21, do 20 minutes. I'm 42. I do more than 40 on 42 minutes because I really fucking enjoy it. Meditation is my medicine, trust me. Um, it's healed me completely. Um, I, I, I was uh, 
a wreck, my body was a wreck at one point and I'm, I feel the most healthiest I've ever been in my entire life. So, yes, okay, let me teach you how to breathe, okay, breathing is the most important thing. So if we just, um, <laughs> I have to show you how it works. Um, imagine your, your diaphragm, which is what goes up and down, you think it's your stomach, but it's your diaphragm, just based around here. Um, imagine that as a balloon, so as you put, <laughs> blow air into the balloon, it, it expands. And if you take the air out of the balloon, it deflates. So that's your diaphragm. So as you breathe in through your nose, take a deep breath. So it's focus on from here all the way up here. You'll feel the breath going up and down. We're so used to this shallow breathing. Just don't. <laughs> that's all you're doing every day long. So you're not used to this deep breathing. So let me show you how it works. So I'm going to breathe out from my nose and I breathe in through my nose as well so here we go you can see my stomach has gone in I can't breathe out anymore right I'm going to breathe in Swadhisthana, Manipura, Anahata, Vishuddha, Ajna, Sahasrara. These are Sanskrit words. And we also have uh, the pentatonic scale system in our um, chakra. They have different sounds, sounds of frequencies, vibrations. So I do meditate on the sounds. I do a lot of chanting. Chanting is very, very powerful. Um, so I have a lot of different ways of meditating. So what I've just kind of taught you there is to have to breathe properly. So when you first start meditating, guys, um, sit upright. That's really important. Your back is really important. To sit upright, just move your shoulders back. You don't need to do that. <laughs> just be relaxed and keep your back straight, your shoulders, you know. And your head just slightly, slightly tilted forward, but not too much, not like that. So your head, so your spine is erect. That's important. So when you're meditating, try and get to that position. You can sit on a chair. You don't need to do this fancy lotus position, you know, like most yogis do. Um, sit upright if you have to sit on a chair. Just make sure you're upright. Your spine is erect. 
Um, there's a difference between relaxation and meditation. So if you're breathing, lie down, you're bound to go to sleep. And that's a good thing anyway. You know, so do that before you go to sleep too. So meditate by sitting up, right? Relaxate by lying down. And breathe. Breathe, guys. You know, um, if you want to live longer, you need to uh, give your body the fuel it needs. Um, it will thank you for it. Thank you for it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so five minutes every day for 21 days, you'll see, you'll feel the difference on the first day you do it. You think, wow, I'm fucking buzzing, mate. I don't need to smoke no fucking weed or anything. I mean, I do that anyway, purely because I've been smoking since I was 15 and I fucking enjoy it. Um, but I have given up many times and to be honest, you know, I do actually like drinking it and eating it, so, you know, um, I, I feel more, um, you know, I feel the benefits of it more, so, when I'm drinking it. Um, but yeah, I do actually like smoking, I don't know, it, it probably is the habit, it's my choice, isn't it? I'm not doing no one else harm, it's my body. Um, but I do compensate a lot with breathing, so, you know, um, yeah, guys, if, you know, this is, it's great. Meditation will will change your life. You're connecting with your source when you meditate, um, and when you get to my level of meditation, and I'll do it for hours. I'm so connected that I I, I really don't plan things. As I say, you know, I just know because I hear the voice within me, that subtle voice. I listen to the message, you know, message it's given me, or you know. Any any signs, synchronicity, guys. Seriously, I, I I have so many signs every single day, minute of my life, and I write journals. I write a lot. Um, so that's another video too, journal writing. But yeah, give it a go and and feel the wonders of it. Mwah, see you soon. Oh, oh, oh.